Three, two, four, five. How many bridges? Twenty-one. All right. What is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to my channel. Let's talk Twenty-One Bridges, the brand new Russo Brothers produced. Not directed film starring Chadwick Boseman. I need you in the comments section letting me know, uh, is this a movie that you were looking forward to? Let's talk about it. So an embattled NYPD detective is thrust into a citywide manhunt for a pair of cop killers after uncovering a massive and unexpected conspiracy. So this film stars Chadwick Boseman, J.K. Simmons, Sienna Miller, Taylor Kish. It's directed by Brian Kirk, who has only ever done TV movies and television shows. This is his first, as far as I can tell, on IMDb, his first theatrically released film. And a lot of people have been asking, is this directed by the Russo brothers? No, they are producers. It is from the directors of Avengers Endgame, like it says in the trailer, but produced by the directors of Avengers Endgame. And you can kind of tell their touches on here, their overwhelming hand, and I... I did like how this movie started out. We start out, not necessarily a spoiler, at a funeral for the father of Chadwick Boseman's character. And that kind of sets up who he is in the future. And then we're thrust into this one night, this one crazy night where these two guys uh, go a bit too far, but there's something else happening, something behind the scenes. It is a movie that we've seen um, plenty of times before. And that was my biggest problem here, is they don't try their darndest to do something different. They don't try to bring us a film that, you know, is a bit more edgy than I anticipated, is ready to push the boundary, maybe change up the trope of the action, crime-centric, dramatic movie that 21 Bridges was inevitably going to be. No, 21 Bridges is by the numbers. 21 Bridges tries to switch up the formula a bit by bringing in this conspiracy that does kind of, uh, overtake what I liked most about the film, and that really was the story of one, Chadwick Boseman's character, and two, the story of these two guys who are a bit more conflicted than they start off looking, right? Especially the one guy, right? Taylor Kish's character, he is uh, your average, I'm going to do whatever it takes, I'm going to get the money, I'm going to disappear. There is another character in here, played by Stephen James. Wait a minute, Stephen James? Uh, if Bill Street could talk, yes please, I love this guy, he's fantastic. He has that conflicted mentality that you expect from a crook like this who is slowly uncovering something. I'm not going to say what that something is, even though the predictable nature of the movie will probably tell you what path they end up going down. Uh, he starts finding something out that turns this story into something a bit different than maybe what you were expecting when the movie started, but as it's progressing, you'll think to yourself, well, I've still seen this. I I've seen the, the cop crime action genre try to switch it up in this exact way, and every character turn was predictable. Every massive, major, intense moment, the outcome of that moment, uh, was something that you saw coming from a mile, from 21 miles away. No, that was stupid. Uh, really, 21 Bridges is a film that I wanted to be more than what it was, but it's not a bad movie. I mean, the performances are really good. All of these actors are committing to their roles. They're not um, fleshed out maybe as much as some will want them to be. They don't uh, give you something that you've never seen from them before, even though Chadwick Boseman's accent was a bit different, I guess. But they're all good. And it's just nice to see them playing different kinds of characters. We've seen J.K. Simmons as a cop, but he's playing a very different cop than what we've seen before. I like seeing this out of Sienna Miller. Chadwick Boseman is a great leading man. He's captivating when he needs to be. But even his character, they start out with the funeral of his father, but they never necessarily flesh that storyline out as much as you need them to because they're going from beat to beat to beat. They're not stopping and taking time to give you something more. And that's what I'll say about 21 Bridges. It is what it is. If you're a fan of this genre, you're probably going to like it. If you're a fan of these kinds of corrupt cop movies, these kinds of films where they're taking someone on who's maybe against the law, but he's not against the law, and then you have the main character, the, the grizzled, not necessarily grizzled, but the cop who's seen it. He's done things, and they keep seeing that throughout the entire movie. It's like, you've killed this many people, you've done this and that, but it's like... Okay, I, I don't care because you don't really show us anything. You're just kind of telling us all throughout the movie, this guy is B.A., so you should love him because he's B.A. No, I love him because he's Chadwick Boseman. It's not necessarily because of the screenwriting and the script. And not to say the direction is bad here either. I think the direction is nice. Uh, some interesting camera angles, some camera angles that I didn't love. It's not necessarily a movie that I'm going to remember or go back to, but it's not bad. I just wanted it to be better 
personally, but I think a lot of people are going to enjoy it and have a good time. I'm going to go 54% for 21 Bridges. You know, not a terrible movie at all. It, it is one that I think could have been better than it ended up being. I, I could have felt the Russo brothers touch a bit more, even though they were producers. Maybe not as hands-on as I needed them to be. Regardless, 21 Bridges. It will find its fan base. I apologize for not giving this a super high score, but hey, it's one of those movies for me. If you enjoyed this video and, and you like me doing these reviews every single weekend, show this video some love. Hit that thumbs up button. It will make me want to do more things like this and spend my time on movies that maybe not everyone else is reviewing. You guys are truly the best. Uh, a lot of videos this weekend, man. A lot of reviews. Stay tuned to my channels. Go to the video portion and just check out all the things we're talking about from Frozen 2 uh, to Knives Out, which is coming very soon. I'll see y'all soon.